Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Marsh Rider. Welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be replacing both brake master cylinders on this Peugeot Ludex or Lindex, whatever you want to call it. To do so, we're going to have to remove the indicators because this plastic panel here has to come off so we can get access to the bolts for the master cylinders. So, um, it's like a screw and then a nut for the indicators. And then we also have two little, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's two little screws, one there, and, oh, that's the only one. Okay then, well, right, let's grab some tools, and let's get taking the indicators and this panel off. And then we will also, while we're here, take the master cylinders off, disconnect the brake lines ready for when the new master cylinders arrive. They are arriving today, um, no later than three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, let me grab some tools and we can take this stuff off. Both the indicators are off now. The uh, only thing holding this on now is a little Allen key screw down there. Got the correct size Allen key. Now this is going to be an absolute pain in the ass to get this screw out. I can't even see it. So I thought this one was bad back here, but it turns out well, there's two more screws. There was one up under there, and one up under there. And now, let's, right, let's remove the um, kill switch, brake sensor switch, whatever you want to freaking call it. Just remove them out of the way. We may have to take um, these out and put them in the new ones. I'm not sure if the new ones come with them yet. So we may have to remove them, I'm not quite sure. But now this plastic panel should just <laughs> release itself. So now we have access. Oh, they're Allen keys. Oh no. We're gonna suck some of the, well, suck the fluid out. That's in the master's end over a little syringe. So, make sure you have the exact size screwdriver you need as well for the screws on here. Because you don't want them stripping out. That's just a pain in it. It doesn't really matter with these ones because I've got a new one coming, but <sighs> yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. You may get some brake fluid coming out of that when you crack it. Don't worry, that's hundred percent normal. But even though you've drained your master cylinder, there's still going to be brake fluid in your lines. So that's why I've got a bit of a a rag here. 
just in case any breakthrough decides it wants to pop out which a little bit of it is so we'll just stick that in there for a second to absorb it get this mirror out of the way Oh, fuck, you're gonna be a pain in the arse. Ugh. Fucking hell. Ugh. Oh, for fuck's sake. If I can't get it out, we'll have to cut this with an angle grinder. No, of course not. Why would anything go the way I want it to? He's a pain. I hate things like this. Like designs like this. Why? You would have thought they would have put proper nuts on there instead of the Allen keys. Because the Allen key things, they strip out so easy. So, after a lot of heat and a lot of WD 40 and a lot of time later, it took me 30 minutes to get one fucking nut out. Yeah, now we can move on to the other side. The other side's nice and simple because. It's all loose already, so do the exact same thing. Drain what fluid is out is in there, put a bit of blue roll in there to soak up what's left. Crack the banjo bolt, take that off. Undo the two allen key bolts from the master cylinder, remove it, done. Then all we have to do is wait for the new ones to come in, put the new ones on, connect everything back up, job done. But yeah. I'm not gonna film me doing this side because you saw me doing that side, so you, it's basically the same thing. So both master cylinders are off, everything is disconnected, um, if, you know, be careful not to lose your crush washers, you are only meant to use them once, but I forgot to order them, so we're going to be using these ones again. As long as they don't leak, 100% fine. Um, I'm going to get a bit of spray paint, chuck it on some of this rust and on handlebars, just to spruce it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to head in and wait until the new master cylinders arrive and when they do, we can fit them. So yeah, um, I'll get back to you guys once the new master cylinders have arrived. So, new master cylinders have just got in. I got these from... Uh... Ped? Park? Something? So yeah, let's get them open. brand new master cylinders with levers too oh and we also got the crush washers good 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 I hear that look at them that is the one for the left it should be the right one unless they sent me two left ones has been known. I have ordered a left and right thing before and got two of the set. Yep, left and right. Perfect. Crush washers again. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. I guess we'll start with the left one first. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, I painted the uh, plastic. Just tie it up a little bit. And yes, bolts. Proper bolts. Right, let's start with the left one. Run into a problem. These things are too big. Look, there's the ones that are meant to go on there, but they fucking don't. Oh, fuck. That is so annoying. 
That is so freaking annoying. I'll have to take care of that. Master cylinders are on in the process of cleaning them. Still haven't connected these. These connectors don't fit. So I'm going to do that so I thought I'll bleed them all here. Front brake. Look at that. Nice and stiff now. So, now I've just got to bleed up the rear. I'm taking, taking the wheel off and just moved it to a side so I have better access to this bleed nipple here. So I'm going to get the rear all bled up. Now I'll see you once we see it done. So I'm back inside. As you can see my head's not there. Put it back in my shed. Front brake is 100%. The rear brake is like uh, 90%. What I mean by that is the front brake is a lot stiffer than the rear. It really does work, but it just ain't that stiff. So I put a cable tie around the brake cleaver, holding it to the bars overnight. So hopefully any air that's in the system arrives, will come out. So it should stiffen up a little bit more. There's nothing wrong with it, I'd just rather it feel being a little bit stiff, you know. But yeah, we're on this video here. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're ready. And I will see you in the next one.